templo Welcome to Puzzle with Emilia. That's me. You guys has been asking me for a long time to do a 500 piece puzzle in one of my videos. And you also asked me to do it in less than an hour. Well, I can definitely do the puzzle. I'm not that sure about the one hour time limit, but let's see what I can do. So the chosen puzzle for this video is this My Loyal Friends 500 piece puzzle from Ravensburger. It's a great choice because it was actually used in last year's World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. I think in group C of the qualifying rounds. So we can actually compare my time, no pressure here. And actually, instead of just showing you guys me assembling this puzzle, I'm gonna analyze with you guys um, from beginning to the end of what I'm actually doing. Did I have some strategies? Is there something I could have done better? So I'm gonna film that separately and then combine those. So you will be with me all this time. As you know, I'm not very good <laughs> talking at the same time as I do a puzzle, so obviously we're not gonna do that because then I don't think the time would be actually that um, realistic. So let's go. Okay, here we go. I already obviously know how this ends, but this is indeed my first time watching this video. Um, so, okay, as usual, I start with the flipping. Um, I kind of have this like a goal that I would be flipping all the pieces somewhere between two to three minutes. And uh, I didn't do any kind of sorting specifically except those little yellow pieces over there. I was already attaching just a couple pieces while I was doing that. As you could see, I didn't make it in three minutes, a little bit over, but I think I could start in overall. Mm. So I started with the easy part. Usually if you've done this puzzle, Maybe you started with the same thing, which is the yellow telephone. And then I started doing the books because they were really like this bright, uh, bright red. Then there was a little blue book and some more. And I think I already knew at this point that the hardest parts are probably gonna be um, the black dog in the middle. And then there was some kind of like a flowers I'm not really good with those, so I usually leave them at last because then it's a little bit easier when you have um, less pieces left. So here we are, um, a little bit under 15 minutes right now. And I have already some progress. I continued with the um, dog images that were in the background. They were all, most of them all a little bit like green. So instead of just doing like one image at a time, I was actually just collecting kind of like all those green pieces and then trying to see like what um, goes with what. I think I had a little bit issue to see the differences between the different images of those dogs. But other than that, I think it was going um, quite well. Uh, you can see, I don't know what can I actually see here. Uh, yeah, the pictures, they also had like these a little bit different frames. So I could have probably followed a little bit that better. But better luck next time with that. And then you can also see here that the images are actually in the reference quite close to each other. Yeah, here you could see I was doing my first kind of like attaching together. So actually most of those would have been already possible to attach together, but that's something I'm kind of not doing well. Yeah, you can see the second one I was doing there. And then I think a little bit afterwards, I realized to attach a little bit more. And we're around half an hour right now. So half an hour left if we're actually gonna make this in less than an hour. Uh, yeah, you could also see here that now I'm actually attaching stuff, but I can see there is still like missing uh, between the dock on the upper left and the middle. Those actually go together, I can see it here. 
And yeah, the issue is that if you have like very like this uh, bigger parts already done, it actually gets a little bit harder to attach because they're, they kind of collide with all the pieces. And yeah, then I realized there's another little dog. Yeah, that actually took me a little bit more time. Obviously, this is a thousand percent faster, this video, than real time. So it didn't look that troublesome. Uh, so then I started to do a little bit of framing. I usually, I never specifically start with the frames. I don't usually do them uh, last either. So usually in the middle, middle part of doing the puzzle, uh, I think usually kind of like I go by easiest parts first. So when I feel like that that's the next easy part, then I'm going to do those. And here you can see I already started sorting a little bit. Uh, where's the black pieces and the flower pieces. And then I have like the lower frame pieces left. Uh, I actually did a mistake here because you can see I have these black pieces on, on both sides of me. And in the end, I actually forgot that I also had uh, some black pieces on my left. So I was kind of like uh, losing time because I couldn't find a place for those. And here you can see we're about to reach the 50 minutes. And you know, you could say that, okay, this is easy thing, but sometimes I actually do the last 20 pieces for 15 minutes. I'm not even kidding. So that happened here. But here you can see, I don't realize I have more pieces on my left and that, oh, oh my God, I wasted so much time over there. But yeah, the dog got together quite nicely this time. And then I started doing this, basically just uh, looking at the shape. So this was actually quite easy in the end and we're done. So 53, sorry, 54 minutes and 20 seconds for this. So let's take a look. How did I do in comparison to the other times in last year's World Yixa Puzzle Championship? Okay, welcome back to my puzzle studio. That was fun. Damn, I mean, I even surprised myself because I think this time of 53, why do I keep saying 53, 54 and 20 seconds um, is such a great time. I think it's going to go to my top, uh, top three actually. And I mean, I love dogs. I'm just not good with them. So I was actually very surprised and I'm super proud of myself that I actually managed to do this. Um, less than an hour. All right, and then let's take a look how I would have placed last year. So, okay, we can see the winning time is like 37 minutes. I love Kristen. I watch her videos um, from the last year's live streaming. Um, she had Instagram for active for a moment, so I've been watching all those videos. I mean, the way she assembles puzzles is just crazy to me. But anyway, let's see where I would have been. Da, 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 da. I would have been on top 10. Yay! That's amazing. So only around like 17 minutes um, behind the winner of this round. But I have to say like with Kristin and Alejandro, I'm just like, when I compare, I'm like, okay, I just will ignore this time. I will uh, like compare myself for the um, second because it's just crazy. Like they don't only win, but they like compared even to the second place, like there's huge difference. So that's just crazy. But I'm going to be proud of myself for making it to the top 10 with this. And now the pressure is just higher for the World Ixa Puzzle Championship. And I'm also going to compete in Finland on this little unofficial competition this weekend. So I'm pretty excited, but I feel like the pressure just keeps... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I don't know what my next video will be. Maybe you have some idea what would you like to see. So comment below and remember to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you next time.